All right, we got head coach of the Shockers, uh, Paul Mills, joining the studio. It's been a while since you've been in Wichita. You're kind of becoming accustomed. How's the city been treating you since you've been in Wichita? It's been great. Uh, the people have been fantastic. Everybody asks me what's my favorite part. My favorite part has been the people. Uh, there, there's a lot less traffic uh, just growing up in Houston uh, than, than what I'm used to. <laughs> and so that's great. So everything's been wonderful in regards to the acclimation. Yeah, and you know, you kind of got uh, hired right after the season. A lot of coaches will have to wait to kind of see what the atmosphere is like. You got that TBT, got to see Coke Arena. What was your impressions of that? Man, just incredible. I was texting a number of recruits while, while he was there, just showing them the Might crowd. Well. Yeah. And then at the same time, I think you were motivated to recruit that, hey, let's get you here in front of people that really value what you bring to the table as a shocker. You know, in, in the same breath, a lot of coaches have to wait a long time to see their guys play against competition. You got the international trip, got to head over to Greece. Before we talk about the basketball, just tell me about Greece. How was the trip with the guys? Yeah, amazing. From a historical standpoint, from from just a being able to, to understand from a hist not only a history, but the richness uh, that's involved in Greek culture. Uh, so to be a part of that, the food was amazing. The views were amazing. And you know, just about the basketball, you know, you got to learn a little bit about your team. Just talk about what the experience was and just, I'm, it was kind of for you as well, getting your reps coaching these guys. Yeah, it's so much of it is about discovery, especially when you go on a foreign tour. Uh, I've never been anywhere with these guys. They've never been anywhere with me or anybody else on staff. And so getting discover, to discover who they were, just sitting down with them, being able to eat a meal. Uh, and, and even though the games don't count, the games do matter. And so to be able to discover what they were able to do on the floor, and because sometimes what you think uh, will work doesn't necessarily work. So to be able to do that with other competition for three games is a huge benefit from a discovery standpoint from our staff. I know Shocker fans around here, they're really clinging on to the, the Kevin Saul phone videos in the stands and all the stats and pictures that came out. You know, you know better than anybody. Just kind of tell us how it went. You know, what did you learn about these guys? Any standouts, anything like that? Yeah, the, there were a number of, of standouts. You know, I, I think from a rebounding standpoint was really pleased. I mean, we were really dominant on the glass. We were aggressive. Uh, to know that, that that's who they are internally and that they want to pursue the basketball at that level is going to pay dividends down the road. You do have to be good at rebounding. And, and so to watch that play out, a uh, little concerned about our ball handling. Uh, uh, just, man, we, we have to get better at just making easier decisions, simpler plays. You got a little bit to wait now. I'm sure the anticipation is going to get to you guys. Just how excited are you to get some actual basketball inside Coke Arena? Yeah, I feel like the summer is great and it's nice. <laughs> And, and there's a little bit, I heard one of our players, Isaac, say these are the hardest practices I've ever been through. And I was just like, <laughs> man, I think we're being pretty kind right now. And so even though, again, as I mentioned earlier, those games don't count, the games do matter. Well, the games moving forward count. Uh, and so we'll amp this up, we'll turn the intensity up. And as guys get ready to go through this process of, of a fall and then actually getting into the 30 practices prior to your first game, November 6th versus Lipscomb, uh, the intensity and how we amp things up will be important. And I think we have guys, as I've discovered on this trip, uh, who will react the right way. Yeah, I'll put you on the spot here since we got you in the studio. You know, you talked about that 10 year reunion of the Final Four team, all the history that's in Wichita and how passionate this city was during those times. How important is it to you to get back to that point? Yeah, I mean, the, the goal is if you ever look, when you're looking at March Madness, it says the road to the Final Four. Uh, it does, it never says to win a national championship. Usually that's the moniker. And you realize that if you can be one of those four, mm -hmm. you're gonna have a chance to win a national championship. That's the goal. The goal is to be the best, yeah. to win championships. Uh, but you can't look that far ahead. Yeah. You know, today you, you have to figure out how do I do my best today? How do I win today? And if I can get locked in on today and focused on today, I can then turn my attention to tomorrow. And so there is a bigger goal, uh, which you have to constantly make sure that you're doing instead of the destination, you gotta be focused on the direction. And I feel like we're gonna, we're, we'll be focused on the right things day in and day out. And we understand the destination, but we need to make sure we're headed in the right direction. All right, I think that's all I got for you, Coach. Appreciate you coming by. TJ, thank you.